Welcome to the E3 eMERGE model number training course. This course will cover the topography of the E3 eMERGE system and how to determine the correct model number to order. Before discussing how to properly construct an E3 model number, we will take an extensive look at the topography of the system. Understanding the architecture will help lead you to the correct model number during the ordering process. Let's begin with the PCB module. PCB stands for Printed Circuit Board. The E3 product family is based on a common hardware architecture, so all the different models available utilize the same PCB module. This common module allows Linear to produce a variety of different items, or SKUs, or models, to meet our customers' needs. Linear produces the correct models based on the model number that's ordered by our customers. The first type of model that can be ordered are controllers. An E3 Essential Controller allows you to secure one to four doors. The system is produced by the factory with either one or all four doors activated for use. If a one-door model is initially purchased at a later point and needs expansion, additional doors can be activated on the PCB module by purchasing a one-door Add License to Go card. The card provides the ability to add one door at a time to an essential model, up to a maximum capacity of four doors and eight readers. To expand beyond four doors or in a multi-site location, you will need to either purchase or upgrade an essential controller to an E3 Elite 36 controller. The essential controller can be easily upgraded to an Elite 36 controller with the purchase of a license to go card. The software license is the only difference between the two controllers, and the LTG, or license to go card, provides the license needed for this expansion. This, in turn, allows the system to control more than four doors using expansion nodes, or ACMs, which stands for Access Control Module. It is important to remember when upgrading from an Essential to an Elite 36 that the Essential must have all four doors licensed and activated for use prior to applying the new software license upgrade. As a single module, the E3 Elite 36 controller has the capacity of four doors. To reach a greater door capacity, you may purchase up to eight, two, or four door expansion nodes. The maximum door capacity of the system is determined by the amount of two and four door nodes that are utilized. For example, if all eight expansion nodes are two door models, then only 20 doors can be secured, 16 doors for the expansion nodes, and the addition to the four doors already available on the controller. This is compared to the maximum of 36 doors, which can be reached when all the expansion nodes deployed are four-door models. Depending on the necessity, there is an option to enable additional doors to existing two-door expansion nodes. To do so, upgrade any of the two-door expansion nodes to a four-door model to increase system door capacity. Another form of an expansion node is an ACM. An ACM is the basic PCB module configured to be a two or four door node, but does not include the enclosure and power supply. ACMs are designed to physically nest together with other ACMs or controllers within a standard metal enclosure, allowing for up to eight doors and 16 readers to be controlled with only one enclosure and one power supply, saving wall space, making for an overall cleaner installation. ACMs are not covered in this training as they are not part of the E3 model number scheme under study because they do not include enclosures. They are mentioned here only in the context that they are counted as expansion nodes relative to the overall system capacity. If you have reached the maximum capacity of your Elite 36 system and need additional expansion nodes, you can purchase a license to go card to upgrade to an E3 Elite 64 model. This model allows for up to seven additional two-door or four-door expansion nodes, or ACMs, to be added for a total of 15 nodes. The E3 Elite 64 model is only available as an upgrade from the Elite 36 system through the purchase of a license to go card.
It is not available to purchase directly as an end item SKU or model number at this time. Displayed on screen is the E3 model number, which can be broken up into four parts. Part 1 of the model number is the model type. There are four different model types, E3 Essential or ES, E3 Emerge Elite 36 or EL 36, Elevator Module or EV, and Expansion Node or EXN. Part 2 of the model number specifies the door capacity for the individual module being purchased. The three options are 1, 2, and 4 doors. The 1 door option selection is only used and available for the E3 Essential 1 door controller model. Select the number 2 if you desire a 2 door capacity expansion node that can be upgraded to 4 doors at a later date. Select the number 4 if you are ordering the 4 door capacity E3 Essential or ES model, or the Elite 36 model, or EL 36. You can also select the number 4 when ordering a 4-door capacity expansion node. In the more rare scenarios, you may choose the number 0 for the elevator module. Part 3 of the model number specifies the enclosure type, and there are two options. Compact plastic, or C and Metal Standard Size, or M. Part 4 of the model number specifies the reader bundle type. The letter B at the end of the model number indicates the system includes a number of readers that match the door capacity of the individual model being ordered. If the letter B does not appear at the end of the model number, proximity card readers are not included with the system. Remember that door and video license to go cards are also available for purchase to add additional doors or integrated video recording capability to your E3 system. Additional LTG integrations are also planned throughout the future for added functionality and enhancements. Thank you for watching the E3 eMERGE model number training. You may now exit the course.